Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 53 of 2016 appointing members of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, for its sixth session. The decree stipulated the appointment of the following for a three year term Sheikha Dr. Maryam bint Hassan Al Khalifa, Hala Muhammad Al Ansari, Sheikha Zain bint Khalid Al Khalifa, Sheikha Hissa bint Khalifa Al Khalifa, Maryam Ahmed Jaman, Afnan Rashid Al Zayani. Masuma Abdul Rasul Isa, Dr. Sheikha Rana bint Isa Al Khalifa, Brigadier Ali Abdul Rahim, Dr. Huda Hussein Al Masqati, Muna Sayyid Ali Al Hashimi, Widad Radi Al Musawi, Sheikha Asil bint Khalifa Al Khalifa, Dr. Sabah Salah Al Jnaid, Dr. Suzanne Abbas Muhammad, and Dr. Amira Abdullah Mansour Al Qayyim. His Majesty also issued Decree 54 of 2016, reappointing Hala Muhammad Al Ansari as the Secretary General for the Council for three years, with the same rank stipulated on the establishment of the Council and its amendments. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safariya Palace today the President of the Supreme Judicial Council and the Cassation Court Chancellor Salim bin Muhammad Al Kawari and the Council members. They greeted His Majesty on the occasion of the Royal Decree issuance to form the Council. Al Kawari also handed His Majesty the annual judicial report for the year 2015. His Majesty affirmed his keenness on reinforcing judicial independence, supporting the judicial authority and providing qualified caters. He stated that the judicial authority plays an important role in maintaining the community's rights and enhancing its security and stability. He also affirmed that the Bahraini judiciary protects human rights in Bahrain and that its integrity should be respected. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa noted that, the, that establishing the concept of justice and equality is considered a main pillar in the construction of the modern state. He commended the efforts of the Council's President and Member in carrying out their national duties and praised the content of the annual report, which included the accomplishments, data and future plans to develop the judiciary system and improve its efficiency. His Majesty expressed pride in the Kingdom's judges for their efforts to achieve justice and guarantee people's rights. He added that justice is the foundation of the Bahraini judiciary. He noted the organization and continuous development of the judicial authority structure and legislations. His Majesty highlighted the Kingdom's rich history in the judiciary field. He affirmed that Bahrain will continue to be a land for all without discrimination. His Majesty wished the Kingdom security and further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a number of the royal family members. He affirmed that the Bahraini society is civilized and wise and that it understands the importance of national unity. He noted Bahrain's sense of national responsibility, which has made them immune to attempts of division and uh, part partisanship. He had discussed with the audience a number of topics related to the economic, regional and international developments and the measures taken to minimize their effect on the national economy. The Prime Minister stressed that a proper economic management is going to create a dynamic environment that would prevail over the monotony imposed by the current developments. He asserted the need for united regional and international efforts to adopt initiatives that would ensure the security and stability of the region. His Royal Highness added that the region can no longer withstand further conflicts and that it has witnessed enough clashes that negatively affects its progress and development. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khaifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at the Ghadiriya Palace the Minister of Health, 
فائقة بن سعيد الصالح who presented him with a delegation from the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland, the RCSI, headed by the president of the college in Dublin, Professor John Highland. His Royal Highness affirmed the support of the government for all organizations that supply the health sector with caters capable of responding to the government's strategy for health and therapy, which aims at providing the best medical services for citizens. The Prime Minister hailed the leading educational role of the college and its contribution to training highly efficient Bahraini medical caters, stating the kingdom's keenness on enhancing cooperation with the college and benefiting from its global reputation and achievements. His Royal Highness asserted that the keenness of the government on developing the health and medical sector and on improving medical education through benefiting from major universities in the world and attracting the most prominent medical and health institutions and senior doctors in all specialities to the kingdom to benefit from their experiences. The Prime Minister commended the efforts of the college in developing the health and medical sector in the kingdom, its experiences and its highly efficient caters. The RCSI delegation expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his continuous support for the college, which encourages them to further enhance cooperation with the kingdom. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, issued Edict 4 for 2016, reappointing Sheikh Maryam bint Hassan Al Khalifa as Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Women for three years. The Vice President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, Honorary President of the Bahraini Mixed Martial Arts Association, Founder of Khalid bin Hamad Mixed Martial Arts Organization, the KHK MMA, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa congratulated the success of the second edition of the Open European Championship of Amateur Mixed Martial Arts, which concluded in the capital of the Czech Republic, Prague. His Highness affirmed that the organization, the organization is promoting the sport by activities and championships that strengthen the, the relation between him and the member associations and has also developed the capabilities of participants, which was reflected on their levels in the championship. His Highness today witnessed the competition of the tournament's final day, where he crowned the first place winners with the presence of the International Mixed Martial Arts Federation President, Kareth Brown, and IMMAF CEO, Denzin White. His Highness praised the strong levels of the different weight categories, which reflected the preparations of the teams that were able to make it to this stage of the tournament. He also wished the other teams best of luck in upcoming events.
His Royal Highness uh, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa deputized the Minister of Health Faiqa bin Saeed Al Saleh to attend the seventh graduation ceremony organized by the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland Medical University of Bahrain. The Minister of Health stated that this ceremony is considered an honoring to all the graduating students who devoted all their efforts to gain knowledge and skills that will enhance the health and therapeutic services provided. She also urged all the graduates to continue working hard to apply the knowledge they acquired and to cooperate with the medical caters in the kingdom to ensure patient safety. Uh, Saleh asserted that this batch will make an important addition to the nursing field in the kingdom and will contribute to enhancing nursing services provided to all patients in public and private medical facilities. The Minister of Health noted that the ministry has been keen on improving the quality of the nursing care provided and enhancing the capabilities of the caters. She also hailed the efforts of the college in supporting uh, the ministry and its role in improving the Bahraini medical sector. As Salah expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for patronizing the ceremony and to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for his interest in medical services.